get used to weaving your ends in as you go along because that's part of the process of what you're going to do so I've got cast on a couple of stitches here as you get ready to knit the first stitch wrap the tail around the working yarn knit your stitch as you knit the second one wrap it again knit your stitch and keep doing this for a few stitches as you work into your cast on edge and that saves you having to come back and thread away the ends once you finish the project you can just snip them off and the number of stitches you need to work entirely depends on your preference and the type of yarn that you're knitting with um, a more slippery yarn uh, knit a few more stitches if it's a yarn that's going to almost felt in then you can knit fewer stitches and if you see what's happened here you can see that that yarn tail is worked in over here and woven into that first row that you've worked and now you can just snip it off I'm going to join my second colour in and I'm going to weave the end in on this one as I go as well. So you can see that again. So I've knit my first stitch and then on the second stitch I'm going to twist the tail over the working yarn. You can see it's going to happen again there. Just keep wrapping the tail over the working yarn for a few more stitches and once you get to the end of the row you can just come back and cut it off you can see here how it's caught down in that row and I'm just going to take my scissors and snip it off there it is So using that principle of weaving in the yarns, I'm going to do a similar thing with the yarn that's carrying up the side. I'm not going to work it on the first stitch. I'm going to work it on the second stitch. So it pulls it away from the edge a little bit. So I've just wrapped it across the working yarn there and I'm going to knit a stitch and keep knitting to the end of the row and what I decided to do was to wrap that working yarn on both the right and the wrong side rows because it makes the um, the little step of yarn on the contrast color smaller so if I just work back to the other side again You'll see how I do that. And what I want to do is keep the carried yarn on this wrong side of my project. So that means I have to bring my working yarn onto the wrong side, catch the carried yarn. There you can see that I've caught it in that loop and then take the working yarn back to the back. When I pull it, I'm going to knit that last stitch and there you can see that I've caught the contrast yarn on the other side. It will end up a little bit twisty, but now I'm going to go ahead and on the second stitch, I'm going to wrap it again and then keep knitting my row to the end of the row and you'll be able to see the carried yarn starting to make a little woven line up the inside of the back of my work. So if I show it to you here, you can see those little stitches 
there where the yarn has been caught in at the back. Um, this little blob here is because I did not pull my yarn tight enough. Um, and that's something important to remember as you join in the new yarn. And I think I didn't knit it long enough and I left it too loose. So I've actually managed to pull out the weaving that I did on my joining row. Um, so I'm just going to use a needle and thread it back in again. But just make sure to catch it for a good number of stitches. And if you've pulled it tight, it won't loosen over here. And I'm going to keep carrying my contrast yarn up the side. And you will be able to see the stitches over here. But I think it's much neater than lots of joins um, and broken threads. And uh, once you've got a repeat going up the side through all of your alternating color bands, um, it forms a, a very neat detail along the edge there. So this is how to uh, carry your yarn up the side of your work uh, using a weaving method.